Good afternoon, everyone. Jonathan Davis here with Davis Auto Sports. I'm really excited about this car. Uh, these are very unique in many different ways, but this particular one is an absolute one of a kind. This is a 03 Audi Allroad. This is a two owner car with 43,000 original and documented miles. It was sold to the previous owner as a certified pre-owned Audi. It's been Audi dealer service since day one of ownership. It is absolutely beautiful. It came to us from the state of Florida. If you're looking at this car and it looks a little bit different than your typical all-road, I'll tell you what we did. But I'm first going to do a quick walk around and give you the overall appearance of this car. It is truly stunning. We ran this through our service department, all the typical little Audi all-road or the 2.7 uh, engine platform issues that they typically may have. This thing went through our inspection with flying colors. The air suspension works perfectly. Uh, I'll go over all that here in the video, but I want to show you guys, some of you guys may already recognize one of the big changes we made to this car, and I'll tell you why we did it and go over everything. So. If you're familiar with these, you guys know that the entire front bumper, the fender flares, the rocker panel below the aluminum trim, of course, rear fender flare and rear bumper. You know with the all roads, those come in a flat black plastic. Now those fade over time, those get scarred up over time. The front bumper gets rock chips embedded through the plastic. Uh, so what we decided to do, we're, we have a full restoration department here. We have a, a paint facility, interior facility, the whole nine. What we wanted to go ahead and do with this is color key the entire car. Uh, it just makes it beautiful. It makes it one of a kind. So the bumper was completely removed. Uh, all the trim pieces within the bumper, uh, the grill, everything was completely disassembled. Uh, each part was painted individually. Uh, brought down to uh, beyond the plastic, uh, play, uh, sprayed a plastic promoter, a 2K primer, blocked it down because the plastic on these is actually textured. So if you were to paint a plastic texture, it's going to show texture. And as you see here, it's a flat finish just like metal. So in order to get that plastic completely flat, it took a lot of prep work and sanding. So these panels look like they came from the factory painted um, same thing with the fender flares those were removed off of the car prepped down sanded rocker panels as well all right thanks jake break rear bumper once again off of the entire car completely disassembled partronic taken out uh, a ton of man hours went into creating this sort of one of a kind all road, all painted, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now with most vehicles, uh, if you look at the new Audi uh, RS7 wagon, color keyed bumpers and fenders are always the high end uh, trim level. You can take any, uh, if you were to have like a base trim level, a sport trim level, and a limited trim level on any make and model, the painted is the highest trim level. So that's sort of what we did. Take a look at the color matching. I mean, you cannot tell that those two weren't painted at the same time. Uh, we have our own paint mixing bank here. So we're able to mix a perfect match uh, and it just came out absolutely gorgeous. In addition to the rest of the body, it was fully paint corrected. If you're unfamiliar with that, it's a wet sanding procedure. Uh, two of my guys were on this car probably for about four to five days just in the wet sanding part of it That's a common service. We do here. We do it on a majority of our vehicles here uh, here and uh, Essentially on this car. We did a 2500 grit wet sand moved up to a 3000 grit and then multiple stages of high-speed compounds polish and buffs and what that does is it gets essentially uh, older paint 
uh, we we sand away a very very thin layer of clear coat and then it be it's it's dull at that point because you're sanding away and then with multiple uh, different machines DAs high-speed buffers different uh, chemicals and and compounds and polishes uh, you get a beautiful finish uh, we actually offer this service and do this service even on new cars uh, to get rid of orange peel and everything else so the end result is what you see is mirror like finish um, what paint correction doesn't do if there's a scratch that's through the clear coat or through the base coat we're not painting anything we're not filling anything in so I, I just want to be clear on that um, so between uh, the body work on all the flares, the panels, the bumpers, the trim, removing those, prepping them, painting them, putting them back on, and then the paint correction. We have about three weeks of hardcore labor just to get this thing looking like it does, a true one of a kind all road. And this color, it's a dark blue with all the aluminum uh, accent. It's just absolutely beautiful. Check out the roof. 43,000 miles, fully serviced, just a beautiful car. Air suspension works absolutely perfect. And the only thing to really nitpick on this entire car is a couple of the wheels do have some curb rashing. And, you know, we were going to refinish those wheels. We'll let that, um, you know, whoever buys it, you can let us know whether you want us to refinish the wheels or not. Uh, it's about 150 bucks to completely remove them, sand them down, refinish them. But I know a lot of people may get a, a different set of wheels, so we decided to leave the wheels the way they are. Check out this hood. That is the original Audi windshield as well. Maybe the lowest mileage all road uh, on the entire US market right now, definitely the nicest. Headlights, no oxidation or condensation. Those are the factory original headlights. I mean, these all roads are just beautiful with the wide body flares. All the glass is original Audi glass. And this car is just, it's just so pretty. No dents or dings anywhere on the car. Some slight curb rashing. As I mentioned, nothing hateful, but it is there. Now we are shooting this in 4K, so if you have the ability to watch this in 4K, please do so. Uh, we also highly recommend, um, if you're watching this on an iPhone, uh, take advantage of watching it on a big screen, uh, whether a TV or a, or a computer monitor. Uh, also want to mention a recent service on this car, uh, new rear rotors, new rear pads. Uh, this was all done at an Audi dealership. Uh, I want to say it was like a $2,400 service that was just done within the last six or eight months or so. Uh, we'll post that uh, on the listing just so you guys can see that. All original paint besides what we did. So every single rear quarter, doors, fenders, hood, it's all original paint. There's no paint work other than what we did. The uh, rear bumper, so I'll sort of go into uh, one of the reasons, I mean, we've sold many Audi all roads over the years uh, and, and didn't paint everything. Uh, there was a couple reasons we did this. Uh, the front flare, uh, starting with the front, it had, like I said, your rock chips. And on plastic, when they get rock chips, it doesn't, there's no paint or clear coat for it to go through. So it actually makes an indention in the bumper. That doesn't look good. So we're like, all right, well, let's sand that down. We were going to refinish it uh, in the factory way. Uh, the front flare had a little bit of scarring on there and uh, we always color key everything when we restore vehicles uh, that don't have painted flares whether it's a Wrangler or Cherokee we other we always color key it and it looks really really good and the back bumper uh, just had some typical little as you see now it's absolutely perfect but it just had a couple little blemishes and we're like if we're gonna do all this body work uh, might as well do the other panels that don't need anything and then paint everything just so it, 
and the miles is also the reason we did it. If it was a 140,000 mile car, uh, we wouldn't have owned it, but we wouldn't have done it had we. Car drives out perfect. We're getting ready to take you guys on a quick test drive as well. We'll show you the interior. I want to show you the roof again. The roof is perfect. Check out the roof rack. I mean, it's just beautiful. Inside is truly, truly mint. All the wood grains in great condition, rear heated seats, sun shades work as they should. Beautiful two-tone interior. There's no dye on these seats. These are original seats. Uh, there was no blemishes that we had to re-dye or anything like that. So, just a beautiful, beautiful car. Now, I just want to make clear. Uh, as nice as this car is, guys, it's a 2002 or 2003, uh, 40, you know, 3,000 miles. So expect some very minor wear and tear. Uh, it's not a brand new car. We're not advertising it as a brand new car. We are advertising it as a beautiful car in great condition for the years and miles. And we do the very most that we can possibly do to show our vehicles between pictures, video, content, uh, the whole nine. Once again, there's no dye on these seats, so that's the original bolster. Has not been dyed. That's the original bolster. And these seats are brutal as far as uh, what you typically see. If you see any online that look good, they've most likely been dyed. The problem with that is it looks good for four or five weeks, if that. As soon as you go to clean it and put anything on it, that dye typically comes up. Once again, spotless door panel, sunshade, perfect. Non-smoker, none of the cigarette lighters have been used. There's no uh, stains, there's no burns. Have your license plate bracket that we purposefully filled in everything up front. Uh, it did have holes. So we filled that in, so that looks awesome. All your floor mats, your car go back, your car go up. I mean, it's the real deal, guys. Beautiful, beautiful car. You got your tools, you got your 12 volt access. Spare, never been used. Got your hazard up there. As I said, we ran this through the shop. Uh, car needs absolutely nothing. Like I mentioned, it was just at an Audi dealership not too long ago with a very, very nice service done to it. All original panels on this car, original hood. No panels have been replaced. No panels have been painted besides what we did. Um, so just to show you guys, I'm going to go ahead and start the car and go through, um, the different air suspension, uh, raises just so you guys can see all that works as it should. So let me give you a good shot. I'll put this right here for you. Let me tilt this up for you guys.
actually hear the compressor kicking on. You can see it raising up. Not sure if you can hear the compressor, but it's definitely kicking on. Now the front is also raising up. You can hear a little bit of the, when these cars raise, you can hear the tension of it raising up. You can clearly see it's much higher. Still going up. And I can fit beyond my whole fist in there. Still going up. Front still going up. I mean, that's so as you see that works perfect I'm gonna go ahead and start to lower it it's completed compressor is kicked off give you a good glimpse nice and raised I'm gonna go ahead and lower it So you can hear the air being released. I can. Oh, the front just stopped. <laughs> so now it's the back. It goes back and forth front to back. That's the way they operate. Uh, it doesn't lift all four corners at once. So the back, as you see, is coming down. Now the front's gonna come down. That's gonna stop. Now the back, <laughs> she's coming. Nowhere near, we had, I got three inches and before I had two inches in addition. So as you see, suspension works perfect. Another really neat thing about this particular car uh, if you're an Audi person, you know that you've never seen a cluster in one of these where every pixel from the date, the time, the instrument portion, the mileage and trip, the radio and the AC cluster all have perfect clusters or pixels, excuse me. That is so rare in these cars. Um, I've never seen it. I've sold a number of these cars. Now, the only thing to nitpick on this entire interior, because I can't tell you everything that's perfect about this car, is you have your typical little wear here from turning that on and off. They sell these online, uh, and you have your these buttons here. Besides that, your cup holder that never works, works perfectly. You have all your books and manuals in there, plus your like factory brochures, like everything that came with it. Um, everything 12 volt electric in this car has been fully tested windows locks uh, AC is literally blowing ice cold right now um, power mirrors headlights which are xenon headlights everything works uh, in this car um, heated seats everything rear heated seats everything's been tested uh, works exactly as it should this is a truly remarkable car so you know these uh, all roads are great little cars but sometimes you know first of all you don't find them with these miles but uh, even if you find one with 70 or 80 thousand miles uh, they often have little weird little niches and glitches and if you've owned these cars you know what I'm referring to and, and nothing major just you know the pixels the the seats the this the that um, And these 2.7s are great little engines. I actually, uh, they've used this engine in the S4s, uh, a number of different platforms in the, uh, it's a phenomenal engine. Also, all the one touch, which all four windows are one touch up and one touch down, they operate as they should.
just close both right windows with a one touch up. I mean, this thing is driving so smooth. This road that we're on is one of the largest, uh, most used roads for logging trucks. We're gonna pass them on this test drive. And there's huge crowns in this road from these trucks being so heavy. Um, so you don't see it on camera, but I drive up and down this road all day, every day, and it's not a nice road to drive on. And this thing is just taking it so incredibly smooth. I'm gonna give this car away for free if we actually don't pass a logging truck, but that would be my luck. Either that or it's gonna be a very long test drive until we see one. One finger on the wheel, around a turn. Smooth as can be. Hand off the wheel, track straight. Steering's perfect. All the controls on the steering wheel work as they should. I'm not gonna turn the radio on, because if it picks up a song, uh, YouTube will hit us for copyright. So I'm going to make my basic turnaround up here at this church. We won't count that as a logging truck, even though there's chips inside that truck. AC is as cold as it gets. Full turn of the wheel. Power steering. Let go. Perfect, no noises. You guys may get a free car. Check out how clean the sunroof controls, the home link. There's so many things about this car that none of them on their own are exciting. I mean, the miles are great, but you know, it's not out of the ordinary to find something with low miles. But if you just look at everything this car has to offer, the service history, the miles, the condition, uh, the quirky little issues that these cars typically have that this car does not have, the condition inside, the condition outside, the work that we did, the drivability of it, uh, the fact that we ran it through our shop and it needed nothing. Uh, the fact that it just got a major service done at Audi. Um, this car is the real deal. Um, please don't tell me what Kelly Blue Book values this car at. <laughs> no offense. Uh, buy one from Kelly Blue Book if they have one. Um, not to mention the market now on used cars. If you look up the index inflation, is the highest percentage it's ever been in history on use cars and trucks at 10%. Uh, typically it falls in an industry standard of inflation at 0.3 to 0.4. This is 10% in a market we're in now. So everything across the board uh, car wise is, is high from parts to servicing to purchasing most importantly. But top of the steering wheel is perfect. has zero odors all you smell is the leather there's not even a chemical smell from us detailing it um, 
beautiful car. And th this thing is just smooth as can be. There are literally crowns in this road that typically on a solid axle vehicle will take you right off the road because of the crowns. And uh, I mean, this steering wheel is just smooth as can be. I think I'm actually going to drive this car home this weekend. Typically, I like to drive one of our sport cars or one of our uh, Jeeps that we built, but I think uh, I think this is going to be the weekend driver. Got some uh, nasty railroad tracks that I typically slow down. We're going to hit these at 50. Smooth as can be. So we're approaching 25 minutes on this video. I hope you guys can clearly under, understand how nice this car is condition-wise, uh, cosmetically, everything. I mean, it drives like a dream. Um, there's really not much more I can say about this. So I'm going to make our turn, and we're going to see if we see any logging trucks. I don't know who to give the car to if uh, we don't. I'll give the car to the um, whoever meets the reserve on eBay. How about that? <laughs> so our turn's up here. Let's see, we got two semi trucks coming down the road. He's hauling chips. Let's see what this guy has before we make our turn. He's hauling chips as well. Wood chips, not Fritos. chips as you see all the gauges are exactly where they should be Let me zoom in here so you can see those These two-tone interiors are beautiful. All the wood grain is perfect. There's no cracking. I'm not going to bore you guys at this red light. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to give the car to whoever has the highest bid and meets reserve on eBay or on our website. Thank you.